welcome back to Mika Reacts and Reviews, where we act and review to things on the internet. And today we are revisiting right back to NF Mansion, which I believe is the correct order to react to NF, to <laughs> the NF fam. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's just audio. So I'm hoping this is the right one. I looked for a video one. I'm sorry if this is not the right one. Um, so it's NF Mansion audio featuring Fleury. Um, it's a five minute long uh, song, so yeah, it's kind of long for a song, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. A lot of people really push Mansion, so it must be a really good one. And I have 13 million views! Alright, let's go. Insidious is by inception. What's reality with all these questions? Feels like I missed my alarm and slept in, slept in. Broken legs, but I chase perfection. These walls are my blank expression. My mind is a home I'm trapped in, and it's lonely inside this mansion. I'm liking the melody, I'm liking the voice. Yo, my mind is a house with walls covered in lyrics, they're all over the place. The songs in the mirrors written all over the floors, all over the chair. Mind is a house with walls covered in lyrics, which bring me back to his search song when he says, "Is something going on wrong in this house?" So he's talking about his head. Um, I really like that. That was nice. And you get the uncut version of life when I go downstairs. That's where I write when I'm in a bad place and need to release and let out the version of NF you don't want to see. I put holes in the walls with both of my fists till they bleed. You might get a glimpse of how I cope with all this anger in me. When I go downstairs and I need to write and need a relief to let out that part of NF that you don't want to see. That was a really good bar. And downstairs can mean a lot of things. Like you can really mean downstairs, but usually going down is representative of like a dark place or sad place and going up is like you're lighter you're happier so it could mean like he's going to a dark place um and like the whole the lyrics is on the walls and the chairs and the mirrors kind of reminds me of like a manic kind of a manic state you know like you know when someone's writing all over the place to get their thoughts out because their mind's racing in a million miles an hour I put holes in the walls with both of my fists till they bleed. You might get a glimpse of how I cope with all this anger in me. Physically, a bit. Oh, wow. I put holes in the wall with my fists till they bleed. That's a lot of anger. And maybe it's just a metaphor. He doesn't actually do that, but it's just still just expressing how much anger there is. And I wonder why he's so angry. Ah. Uh. Now that's the room that I don't want to be in That picture ain't blurry at all I just don't want to see it And these walls ain't blank I just think I don't want to see them But why not? I'm in here so I might as well read them I gotta thank you for this So there's something he doesn't want to visit Like a memory, a past that he doesn't want to look at He doesn't want to visit But now he's in that dark place So he might as well go ahead and go for it And that's how I am Like when I, I don't really battle with The fucking crippling depression I used to battle with But like it's almost like my depression is just a form of PTSD sometimes where like one thing can trigger like all the shitty things that's ever happened to me and I just spiral and I just look at all the shitty things that ever happened to me and it's like such the, to the most worst toxic mindset you can get yourself into because like the smallest trigger can make you Let's just continue. I gotta thank you for this anger that I carry around. Wish I could take a match and burn this whole room to the ground. Matter of fact, I think I'm a burn. Ah, bars, oh my god. I gotta thank you for that anger. I don't now have to carry around. I can take a match to this room. Something like that. Yeah, like that. And yeah, like at some point, if you're an artist, the anger and the hurt that people, a situation has caused you, can feed your art and it can blow you up or can help other people but nobody really wants to be in a situation you know you know what I mean I wrote I wrote three books about my childhood about what happened to me as a kid and as much as like oh I will I the fact that it can help one person almost makes it like worth it in a way but not really because it was really bad so like you can gain something you can take the shitty thing that happened to you and make it good but nobody really wants shitty things to happen to them you know this room right now somehow this memory for some reason just wounded you and down put me in the corner so you could see the fear in my eyes then took me downstairs and beat me till i screamed and i cried congratulations you'll always have a room in my mind but i'm gonna keep the door shut and lock the lyrics inside 
insidious as Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God. <laughs> is he talking about, like, a situation that happened to him, like, as a kid? Because that's what I'm getting. Correct me if I'm wrong. It, I'm getting... He was abused by someone or mistreated by someone as a kid or when he was vulnerable. Um, wow. Okay, let's continue. Blind inception. What's reality with all these questions? Feels like I missed my alarm and slapped in. Slapped in. Broken legs, but I chase perfection. These walls are my blank expression. My mind is a home I'm trapped in, and it's only inside this mansion. Inside this mansion. Yo, my mind is a house with walls covered in pain. My mind is a home I'm trapped in. See, my problem is I don't fix things, I just try to repay Cover them up like it never happened Say I wish I could change Are you confused? Come upstairs and I'll show you what I mean This room's full of regrets, just keeps My problem is I don't try to fix things, I just try to repaint uh, A lot of people do that You can't do that You can't do that This is a PSA for me If you have any trauma in your life You gotta fix that fucking trauma You gotta fix it I don't care if you think you over it I don't care if you've been, it's been three, five years, you haven't cried about it. That's just there. If you haven't really talked it out, if you haven't really gone to therapy, if you haven't really worked that, that shit's there. And a lot of times, especially if it's child abuse, you go your whole life thinking you good with it, but then you pass that shit down to your kids because that shit's still there. So a lot of people do that. A lot of people cover it up with makeup and clothes and cars and stuff. Getting fuller, it seems. Moment I walk into it's the same moment that I want to leave. I get sick to my stomach every time I look at these things. But it's hard to look past when this is the room where I sleep. I look around one of the worst things I wrote on these walls. Was the moment I realized that I was losing. This room is full of regret and it gets fuller, it seems. To my mom, one of the first things I wrote was I wish I would have called. But I should just stop now. We ain't got enough room in this song. And I regret the fact that I. It's hard to look past when this is the room that I sleep. Like, this is what I'm surrounded by. This is my space. I don't have a safety zone. I don't have a safe space. It's in my head. I can't escape it. Struggle trying to find who I am. And I lie to myself and say I do the best that I can. Shrug it off like it ain't nothing, like it's out of my head. Watching these trust issues eat me alive And at the rate I'm going, I'll probably still be there when I die Congratulations, you'll always have a room in my mind The question is, will I ever clean the walls off in time? I like that, I like that when he was saying like He lies to himself and says he's doing the best that he can And then shrug it off and then get upset when it's affected his plans Like, I can maybe be slightly guilty of that But I know people like that, I know people like that That like just do all the stupidest things and fuck up so many ways but then when it when it catches up with them it's like everybody else's fault and they don't really see that you did this to yourself you are self-sabotaging but they don't see it because they're never taking responsibility right responsibility and accountability for themselves it's like you fucked up for months and it seemed okay and it finally caught up with you a year later and now you mad Still be there when I die. Congratulations. You'll always have a room in my mind. The question is, will I ever clean the walls off in time? Insidious as blind inception. What's reality with all these questions? Congratulations. Congratulations, y'all have a room in my mind. The question is, will I ever clean the room's walls off inside? Ooh, man. Feels like I missed my alarm and slapped in And slapped in Broken legs but I chase perfection These walls are my blank expression My mind is a home I'm trapped in And it's only inside this mansion Inside this mansion I build a safe room and I don't let nobody in there It's building up those walls People think you look tough but you're not tough, you're just scared this part of my house, no one's been in it for years I built the safe room and I don't let no one in there 
Cause if I do, there's a chance that they might disappear And not come back, and I admit, I am emotionally scared To let anyone inside, so I just leave my doors locked You might get other doors to open up, but this door's not Cause I don't want you to have the opportunity to hurt me And I'll be the only person that I can blame Like, then I can be the only one to blame when you desert me That's like when people self-sabotage their relationships it's like, I already, I already knew you were going to leave anyway. I, that's why I didn't open up to you. That's why I didn't try, because I knew you were going to leave. You deserve me. I'm barricaded inside, so stop watching. I'm not coming to the door, so stop knocking. Stop knocking. I'm trapped here. God keeps saying I'm not locked. I chose this. I, I chose this. I'm lost in my own conscience. Woo, man. I'm lost in my own conscience. I know they shutting the world down ain't solving the problem, but I didn't build this house. I built it because I thought that it was safer in there, but it's not. I'm not the only. I uh, I built this house because I thought it was safe in there, but it's not. I'm not the only one living here. Thing that's living in here. Veer came to my house years ago. I let him in. Maybe that's a problem because I've been dealing with this ever since. I thought that he would leave, but it's obvious he never did. He must have picked a room and got comfortable and settled in. Now I'm in a position to either sit here and let him win or put him back outside where it came from, but I never can. Because in order to do that, I'd have to open the door. Oh, that was that whole thing. The whole thing. That whole thing was good. Like, he got into a room and I could either face him. Or let him stay there, or live with him, or let him out, but then I have to open the door. That means I have to actually face my demons, I have to face my issues, I have to face my problems, and that's a whole floodgate. And I don't know if I'm ready for that, but the only reason, way you're going to get rid of it, the, the memory, the past, the regret, the shame, the fear, the hurt, the pain, the bitterness, the resentment, all that shit. The only way you're going to get rid of it, you have to face it. You have to face it. It is tough and it's hard and it hurts and it sucks but at the end it's the best thing you Doors. can do. Is that me or the fear talking? I don't know anymore. Super emotional. I actually thought I was gonna cry at some point. Somebody did some shit to him. Somebody did some fucked up shit to him, and boy, can I relate. <laughs> I can relate to that song really, really good. If that's the case, I could be completely wrong about my assumptions. That was really emotional, and I think we can all relate to it. And I think this is why NF has such a big fan base because I think he really relates to a lot of people when he puts his lyrics into words and ways where people can really get it and feel it. And paints a picture. He's amazing. That song was amazing. That song was amazing. It was amazing. I would read the comments, but this video is probably already long enough. Um, this was amazing. Thanks, guys, to the NFM for recommending me that. I think this is why a lot of people were pushing mention so hard. You guys have an amazing day. Please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get the notifications when I do upload. All of that helps with the algorithm, guys. Thank you, guys. Go hug someone, go hang out with a friend, go write in a journal, go take a walk, go do something you love that makes you happy and bring you peace. You guys have an amazing day. Bye.